objective is to complete your mini research assignment using MLA and MELCON format. And I'll go over the directions quickly and then I'll show you how to do MLA format using Google um, Forms, Google Documents. So the first thing you're going to do is watch this video. After that, you're going to type your final draft on page two of this document, which is down here. Then you will copy and paste your work cited on the page below that. So you've got research question will be here, work cited will be here. It's always on a separate page. You can share with a classmate so that they can give you any final comments and suggestions if you would like. And finally, you'll submit this to the classroom. So when you are doing something in MLA format, there are some very specific rules. First of all, you want to go to File, Page Setup, and be sure that all of your margins are set to one inch. You want to make sure you're on Portrait and you're on 8.5 by 11, and most of these are standard settings. Next, you want to change this to either Arial or Times New Roman. And then you want the font size to be 12. And you always want your font to be left aligned. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is insert a header. And we actually want our header to be all the way to the right. We want to insert page number on the top of the page. And then you're going to have to click in front of that page number and type your last name with a space. So you have last name, space, page number. Now we want this to be one inch from the top. And just because of how Google is set up, we're going to have to actually hit enter a couple times until it appears to be an inch. And you can eyeball it. This looks to be about an inch. Um, so header is done. It's an inch from the top, an inch from the side. We just click out of that and, and we're out. Now we want to make sure that we're um, left aligned. And see how this guy changed to 11? You want to make sure you change that to 12. And make sure I'm all the way over to the left side. You're going to do your first name, then your last name, then you do the teacher's name, the class, and the date. Now, we want this to all be double spaced, so I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to go right here and click on double. Okay, I'm going to hit enter one time, and if you want a title, you can do a title here and center it. But you don't have to have a title. You're going to want to go back to the left, and when you indent for your paragraph, you hit the tab key just one time, and then you can start typing. Now, I'm just going to hold this. Um, I'm just going to keep doing this so that you can see when we get to the second line what happens. And I see a lot of times problems with this, and that's why I want to show you. Okay, so first of all, I want to make sure that this is indented. Whoops. So let me go back there. So the first line should be indented. The second line should not. However, this second line should line up with this information here. See these blue guys up here? I'm going to have to move him over so that it lines up. And that's how it should look. So it just depends. It's just a Google thing. It's not anything that you can really fix. Also, I know that it bothers people to see this title here. They always want to bold it. They always want to underline it. Don't do that. And don't leave any extra spaces in between your title and your text. It should just be a double space like you see here. Same thing with your header and your... Um, title. 
Now see how this guy turned it back to 11? You have to watch that. Make sure it's at 12. And from here, it should continue to be at 12. So that is how you set up your first page. Uh, let me show you for your Works Cited. You're going to want to go down to your next page. And you can just hit Insert Page Break, and it'll start a brand new page. See how it carried my page number over? That's really nice. This is a Works Cited. I'm not going to have my name or any of that on here. What I am going to do is center the title, make sure it's Arial or Times New Roman, and make sure it's on 12, and type the words works with an S, and cited. Not bold, not underlined. You're going to left align it, and let me just pull a website as an example. And this is not um, proper MLA format, obviously, but just to show you as an example, you know that you want that first line to hang out and the second line to hang in. So we're going to grab this guy, take it over to half an inch. So here's the one. We just want to go right in the middle there to half inch. And then if we go here, we can hit backspace. And this will allow us to click here in front of the second line and just move the bottom guy. Well, it should. Here, let's just move. Now we'll be able to separate the top from the bottom. There we go. So, for some reason, I have to move both of them together the first time, and then on the way back, separate them so that first part is out and the second part is in. And again, we want all of this to be double spaced. So go up here and make sure it's double spaced. And this is how it will look. In between each source, it's only a double space. So you're not gonna put an extra space in between source one and source two. And remember that your sources should be alphabetized. And that should be all that you need to know to do your works cited and to start your first page.